Hi and welcome back to my channel Machine Learning with me. If you're new to the channel or not yet subscribed, please do subscribe and press the bell icon for the further notifications. So today I'm going to explain what is rich and lasso. Before explaining or before getting into these both, first I'll try to explain the cost function, overfitting and underfitting. And for this cost function, I'll give you an intuition behind why we are adding this particular small equation to our cost function. Okay, by end of the video, you will get a complete knowledge on ridge and lasso. So just stick, stick with the equation part while I'm explaining. By end of the video, I'm, I'm pretty sure that you guys are confident in lasso and linear regression. So let's get started. We'll see, we'll try to understand the mathematical equation and how does this lasso uh, and ridge regression work. Okay. So let's say we do have a linear regression model. Okay, I'm sorry about that. Let's say we do have a linear regression model and I did train and uh, I did split my data into train and test data. Let's suppose say these two are my training data and my regression line is something like this, which exactly covers uh, these two points okay now this particular uh, uh, scenario and if if my regression model doesn't work well on remaining data or the new data or we can say the test data these two datas if the model performs well on the training data and doesn't perform well on test data then this scenario is overfitting okay now this scenario is overfitting now let's suppose say if my mo if my model doesn't perform better on on either of it, it my model is worst and it doesn't perform well on both train data and test data okay then this particular scenario is called underfitting right this particular scenario is underfitting now in order to overcome such kind of scenarios we will be using a rich and lasso okay now let's see uh, when do we use and what is the mathematical equation behind these let's say Okay, I have again a linear regression model and this is my training data. Okay, now I trained, the trained my data on particular uh, linear model and I, I got something like this and this led to an overfitting. Okay, now what is the generalized equation of my uh, linear regression? Y is equal to mx plus c, right? Here y is our predicting variable, m is the slope, x is our feature variable and c, in, c is our intercept, right? Now we have this, this is our equation. Now how do we say our linear regression model is working good? Using a cost function, right? Using a cost function and our cost function is summation of y actual minus y hat or y cap y hat or y cap is the predicting uh, predicted values now suppose in the case of overfitting now this value will be something like zero right there is no difference between the predicted and the actual values if it in the case of overfitting but what happens if I make if I give a uh, new data points to this model does this cover the does this predict well no because because of overfitting it only performs well on our training data but not on testing data or a validating threat so in order to uh, uh, overcome this particular scenario what we are trying to do is to this particular cost function we'll add something new okay 
to this particular cost function. Now this is my original cost function, right? Now to this, I'll try to add lambda into slope whole square. Okay. Now lambda is known as penalizer. Okay. Lambda is known as penalizer and lambda value can be anything which is greater than zero. Anything greater than zero. Why? If you if you put lambda here and what is the remaining equation? It's just our original cost function. So here lambda acts as a penalizer. Okay. And m is our slope m is our slope of the feature right m is the slope of our future now let's say something like our m is 2 here i'm considering this uh, because our case is overfitting i'm considering this as 0 and let's say my lambda is equal to 1 because it is a real number and it should be greater than 0 if it's not if it's zero then that doesn't mean anything right and let's say this is one okay in multiplied by and if my slope is two okay now what is actually what do you what do you what is slope now if there is a unit of increase on my feature then there is slope times increase on my y-axis that is something called slope when when if you see this particular linear model is too high and because of this the slope is really high we don't want that to happen we want to reduce the slope we want to reduce the inclination of this line right in order to get a generalized model now a generalized model is nothing but a model which can perform well on both uh, training and testing data set okay now my slope is something two of of my of my feature so what is the cost value of this particular uh, linear model that's four now instead of taking slope as four now my uh, now in order to reduce this one we are going to choose another value or another new model which can you know something like this now if you see the distance between this to this point this is our original model l1 right and this is our new model l2 right so now if you see if you observe the distance between the our original model to that uh, uh, new data points and the distance between the new data points to our new model is very different right let's say our residuals between l1 for a particular model is 3 but for a new model l2 our residual value is something uh, 2 right still it is way less compared to l1 right so what we are trying to do is we are trying to reduce the inclination of our original original linear line that is l1 to l2 so that the difference or the residuals uh, uh, the distance between the new predicted value is reduced so now if we reduce the inclination of, of our linear model definitely even the slope gets reduced right now now what would be the new slope we let's consider this new slope is something like uh, 0 again plus 1 multiplied by now let's consider uh, our new slope is 1 okay a new slope is 1 now what is it what is what is our new cost function value that is 1 so we have reduced our cost function value that means if we have uh, if we have reduced our cost function value our model perform performance will be increased so what we are trying to do is we are trying to shrink our reduce the slope value of here we are trying to penalize it okay now this particular equation okay i'll write it in a new note 
now this equation which we have taken the cost function for the cost function for y is equal to mx plus c right now for this line equation for this model our ridge the ridge regression equation would be regular cost function that is summation of y minus y cap whole square plus lambda lambda is penalizing value and slope whole square now the one which i have explained is nothing but ridge regression okay now what is lasso there is only small uh, variation small difference we are going to make to this equation for the lasso regression let the cost function be y minus y hat whole square plus lambda that is penalizer instead of taking the whole square of slope we are trying to take the absolute value instead of taking this whole square we are trying to give absolute value okay lasso regression is great for feature selections now what does this lasso regression do here in in ridge regression we are trying to reduce the slope right we are trying to reduce the slope but here in lasso we'll try to avoid the slopes which are close enough to zero now taking the absolute means uh, in a in a linear model we are trying to if this is our l1 then from l1 to when we are trying to shrink our slope from l1 to l2 what we are trying to do is suppose uh, suppose let's say we have two other more features in a, that is m1 x1 plus m2 x2 plus c okay now what actually happens for this particular equation in rich regression we will try to reduce m1 and m2 right in lasso in lasso if the slope is zero if is if the slope is close enough to zero then in order to predict y lasso regression is avo is avoiding that feature if any feature if the slope of the particular feature is close enough to zero or zero lasso regression completely avoids that in that way it only chooses the best features if, uh, here we just have m1 and m2 so if m2 is zero then it's it's only choosing m1 and x1 uh, feature x1 if we have multiple multiple features uh, features like x1 x2 x3 then it does the same thing lasso regression does the same thing it's it's really best uh, to choose the feature selections it does automatically right so this is the difference between ridge regression and lasso regression okay so we did get the mathematical uh, you, i i hope you did understand the mathematical depth uh, of uh, ridge and lasso and what is the main difference between them and we got to know that lasso regression is even best for uh, selecting the features for the feature selection and we got to know what does ridge regression do uh, in order to optimize the performance so, uh, so next we'll try to understand and we'll try to implement lasso and ridge regression using sklearn uh, in our python we'll see uh, we'll see these both algorithms in action